Hi guys, it's Night Fear, and today I'm coming on to do a haul for you. It's a little bit different of a haul. Um, I a few weeks ago I went um, yard sailing and got some books, um, and then a couple days ago I had to go to the doctor in Knoxville, um, and there's a huge bo uh, used bookstore called McKay's there, um, and so I went there and got a few books. So I just thought I'd share what I got. Um, some of these I know what they kind of are, and some of these I don't, so some of them I'll tell you kind of what I think they're about, and other ones I have no idea. So, um, so these are the ones I got from the yard sale um, a few weeks ago. Um, first, I got the Scholactis, Scholastic Atlas of the United States. I got this, uh, oh, this is by David Rubble. Um, and I got this for Christopher because he really likes um, geography. And so I thought he might enjoy just looking at this right now. Um, it's a little detailed, so he might not read all of it, but I, I think he'll like looking at the states and the, and the different things, hopefully. If not, I'll keep it for him when he gets a little older. Um, then I got this one that looked interesting. Um, this is The Maze of Bones um, by Rick Roy Orden. It's like a, I don't know, it's got like um, different cards and games and um, I don't know, it looked interesting so I thought I'd get it. Um, you know, I like books that are kind of different so... You know, and it was, I, I think it was like a dollar maybe or maybe even cheaper than that. I don't think any of these I bought were over a dollar for the yard sales. Then I got um, a series of unfortunate events, the Hostel Hospital, which is number eight. Um, I have a couple of these, um, but I don't have all of them. Or I don't have anywhere near all of them. Oh, I didn't even notice this has deckled edges, huh? Um, so I just saw this, so I grabbed it. Um, and then I bought this. It was only a dollar. I got Hush Hush, um, by Becca Fitzpatrick. I did read this. I thought it was okay. Um, but I'm rethinking maybe trying it again. And I saw it and I was just like, okay, I, I guess I'll get it. So I bought it. Um, and then I saw this one. It's in bad shape. I do need to tape it. But this is Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. This is, oh, what is her name? There's a YouTuber. Actually, there's a couple of YouTubers that I watch that really like this book. Um, it was only a quarter, so I thought I would get it. I mean, it is, like I said, in kind of rough shape. Um, but, I mean, the pages are all there, and I can read it. So that's all that matters to me. I'm not really picky when it comes to my books. Um, then I got this one that looked interesting, um, Someone Like You by Sarah Dessen. Um, it was only 50 cents. I haven't read any Sarah Dessen, um, so we're going to try it out. Um, you know, it's something about best friends, um, and then their boyfriend is killed by a, a motorcycle accident, find out she's carrying a baby, and I don't know, it just looks like a best friend kind of... I don't know, and it, it looks like a, it might be a cry book, so I don't know, we'll see. It was only 50 cents. Um, and then I got, this one's going to be a controversial one, but I don't care. Um, I got 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Um, it was only a dollar. I have read this book before. I've actually done a um, review just on this book um, because it was so powerful to me, so I've been wanting to get a copy. Um, so now I do have one, and I can go through and I can... Um, you know, highlight, tab, do whatever um, to it. So I'm very glad to have this one now. Um, then I got The Zodiac Legacy um, by Stan Lee, Stuart Moore, and Andy Tong. Um, it says it's a Disney one. I don't know. It was only a quarter. Um, and it's got, it's got like, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, what do they call it? Fudge. Animated? Not animated. Illustrated. There we go. There's the word. Um, so, I don't know. Um, I like different books like that. And, you know, Stan Lee. I love Stan Lee. Um, and it's about the Zodiac, so, I don't know. We'll see. But it's a big book, but I like big books. Um, and then I found a Stephen King book, um, 1408. I do have Everything's Eventual. But I do want to get all of his books, but I decided I'm not going to, like, the 
ones that they've pulled, the short stories they've pulled from the books, I'm not going to actively search for them, but if I find them like at yard sales or used bookstores for not very much, I will buy them. So, um, so I found this one and, um, I have read this one because I've read Everything's Eventual, but they do seem like they're a lot bigger, the short stories. So I don't know if, if they, he's added to it or, um, or what, or if it's just the way it's like formatted to make it big. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to see about that. But anyway, I have 1408 now and I did like that movie. That movie was pretty good. Okay. Let's scooch those a little bit. Okay. Now what I got at McKay's now, I don't know. Cause I think there's another McKay's in, I think it's in Chattanooga. I could be wrong. I know there's another one here in Tennessee, um, but the one I go to in Knoxville has a, like a little wooden, um, box out front, um, where they put free books where like, if you, I, I think people can just throw the free books in there or maybe the store itself does it. I don't know how, but when you leave or when you, you know, whatever, you can grab some free books. So I did find some free books. Um, I've got Angels and Demons by Dan Brown. I don't have any of his books. Um, and since it was free, I thought, okay, why not? Um, so this is another series now that since I have one book, I'll have to get them all. Um, and I did, I have seen the movies. Um, but of course the books are always better. So, you know, so there's the first in that, that I'll have to do. And then I found this one, a death in the family, um, by James age. And it's, it looks like about a family and it's, um, here in Tennessee in Knoxville, Tennessee. So I thought it might be interesting to read. I like the cover. Um, not very big and it was free. So, and in pretty good shape too. So I thought I'd just grab it and see what it was about. <laughs> I've been wanting to read this one for a while. Marley and me by John Grogan, um, about this puppy, <laughs> um, who comes into this person's life and, you know, changes the changes his life so I don't know <gasps> and it's got pictures and is this a non-fiction maybe this is a non-fiction if it is then I didn't know it was huh that's pretty cool anyway um I got this one in the cute free love it love it love it love it and they had lots of these so um and then I got this um which is crock pot dump meals five ingredients or less um for the slow cooker um by Kathy Mitchell um so we have a slow cooker and I like I love recipe books I probably have just a cup I, I probably have enough to have just a bookshelf of um cookbooks and then I, whoops, I got this, um, just, just for Christopher and I to play around with it. Um, but it's phonics and language too. It's, um, from Abika. Um, so because I just like to, um, you know, help Christopher with things. So I thought that might be, um, interesting to, you know, work with him, um, he might be going, they might be going back. I don't know. Um, the virus is coming back here in Tennessee. So I don't know if they're going back to school or not. The plan is right now for them to go back to school, but I don't know. We'll see. All right. So now for the books that I purchased, I got the lost world by Michael Crichton. This is the second one to Jurassic park. I listened to Jurassic park. Um, that's been a couple months ago. Um, on audiobook. I do have the book too, but um, and I really enjoyed it except for the little girl. She was annoying. Um, but I figured, and it was only 75 cents cause it was in their bargain books. Um, cause it is in a little rough shape, but like I said, that doesn't bother me. Um, and actually I think the Jurassic park book I have matches this, like it's the shape <laughs> is pretty much the same. So, um, yeah. So, and of course, if you don't know what the lost world is, that's the, you know, Jurassic park world dinosaurs and lots of fun. And then I got, um, an Anne McCaffrey book. They had a lot of her books, but, um, I want to go back when I have some more money because there was a series that I got before I saw these that I really wanted to get. And so that's where I spent most of the money. <laughs> um, but this is the Renegades of Pern. It was only a dollar fifty. Um, and this is, um, her, um, one of her books that is in the Dragon Riders of Pern series. I really want to get them all. They are so good. 
Um, they are old, though, because, I mean, she has been dead for quite a while. Yeah, see, 1989. But they're still really good books. I'd highly recommend, if you like dragons, to check them out. And what's cool is it's like um, a series, but they're all companion. She does have, I think, a couple of... I know for a fact she's got one series in the series um, that's three books. They're thin books that, that really should be read together. But other than that, you can read them however um, you want to read them. And then I got these two books um, by the author of Beastly, um, Alex Flynn. I got Bewitching, and I got um, A Kiss in Time. And I think these are related um, to that one. I do not have Beastly. Do I? I don't think I have Beastly. I don't think... But I have watched, I do have the movie, and I love the movie. Love, love, love the movie, because it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling, of course. Um, but, so I decided, I saw these, and they were four fifty and three ninety five. so I decided I'd get them, and I want to get Beastly, too. And a co I think she's got a couple others that are um, in this realm, so I definitely want to get as many of those as I can. Um, I have Deviate, and now I have Like Life. Or Life Like by Jay Kristoff. This was $4.95 um, because I had the second one. I figured I might as well get the first one. Of course, I think the first one is hardback, but that's okay. Um, so, you know, your life is not your own. Um, it's about a girl who finds uh, an AI and they... Yeah, see, I have that one already. I got that one at uh, Ollie's. Um, and she finds some stuff out about herself. I did start this, but then I had to go take it back to the library. So, um, so hopefully in the next few months, I'll be able to read this one and then deviate. Because um, I'm really trying to read like series, like especially like if they're, I don't know if she's going to, uh, sorry, he, if he's going to have another one in this or if it's just a duology, but I have the two and I might as well read them. Um, and then this is the start of a series that I've been wanting and I've been wanting to read this book for so long. Um, but this is Novice by Taran Matharu. Um, I just absolutely love this cover. Um, and this was $4.95, and this is the Summoner series. This, like I said, this is book one. Um, and I really don't remember what this is about, um, except it's like fantasy, and it sounds really good. Um, it was now or never. If Fletcher didn't make this kill, he would go hungry tonight. Dusk was fast approaching, and he was already running late. He needed to make his way back to the village soon or the gates would close. If that happened, he would either have to bribe the guards with money he didn't have or take his chances in the woods overnight. Ooh, that sounds so good. Um, and I like these kind of uh, rangery uh, type books. Um, demon and summoner, summoners, that kind of thing. Um, so, and I, I think this has demons. No, it's got orcs, not demons. Eh, orcs, demons. Oh no, it does have demons. Um, he's got to travel with his demon, Ignatius, Ignatius. And for some reason, I'm thinking this is queer too, but I'm not, don't, don't quote me on that. But for some reason, I think this one is queer. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to have this one and start this, um, start this series. Okay. So now, <laughs> um, this next is a, a whole series of books. This is the last, the last ones I have. Um, I have every book, but the second one um and that is the enemy series um by charlie higson it's the enemy which is the first the fear which is the third the sacrifice is the fourth the fallen is the fifth and the hunted is the sixth um i have read the enemy which is this one i got it from my library um and then this is this one is about a plague that comes um, and it either, the plague either kills everybody over 16 or turns them into these things that want to eat everything. Um, and, oh, it's such a good book. And I really enjoyed it. And so when I saw these, I was like, oh, I've got to get them. And I'm just so sad that they didn't have the second one. But I think each of these were $5.95, except for the last one. Um, it was $5 because it didn't have the book jacket, but I don't care. Um, but it does have the sprayed edges. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just, I really want to, but I'm going to get the second one from the library until I can get it eventually. Um, and I just want to, to read them all. Um, at least I think, 
Uh, where are they? I think there's only five. One, two, three, four. I don't know. According to this, there's only five. Um, of course, he might have had some out. Oh, wait. One, two, three. Five. Oh, no. Six. One, two, three. Five, six. I'm sorry. There's six. I've got this. I've got five books. There's six in the series so far. So, um, so we'll see. Um, and they're all kind of, I mean, they're all, you know, over 400, I think, or ish pages. Um, but it's okay. I'm, I'm happy to, to have them. Um, so this is my gigantic haul. <laughs> um, I did pretty good. I, I spent 60 bucks, I think, at, um, McKay's. And then I might have spent uh, probably 10 12 at the yard sale. So, I mean, it's, I think I did pretty good with all the books I got. So, yeah. Let me know if you have read any of these. Let me know if you want to buddy read any of these with me. I'd be happy to buddy read. I'm still looking for people to buddy read with me. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you soon. And please remember to always be kind to one another. Bye!